Hi friends, welcome to the series Glimpses of Legal Legends of India. In the present episode, we are going to discuss a female advocate Cornelia Sorabji. It is said that Cornelia Sorabji was the first female lawyer in India and for this she had to face several amount of difficulties and hardships. She was born on 15th of November 1866 at Nasik. Cornelia was the first female graduate of Bombay University. Also she was the first woman to join and read law at Oxford University. Even though she passed her law exams in Oxford University, she was not given any degree. Even she worked with a solicitor, solicitor firm in London, still she was not called to bar. And what was the reason? The sole reason was she was a woman. That was the sole reason. She returned to India and applied to become a member of a bar of Bombay High Court. In those days, the applications for enrollment had to be put up before the presiding Chief Justice. Accordingly, she gave an application to Chief Justice. Who was that? Who at that time was Charles Farhan? He rejected the application by saying that, please give me one instance that a woman is being allowed to practice. Unfortunately, he did not stop here. He went further and made a comment Women should have nothing to do with law. Cornelia did not get disheartened. Then she went to Allahabad High Court. Identically, she made an application three times before Allahabad High Court. Unfortunately, on all occasions, it was rejected. She was told that if she wants to become a lawyer in Allahabad, she has to learn Urdu and Sanskrit as well as Persian. She passed this special exam. Still, she was not given the membership. Accordingly, the matter came before a sixth judge bench as to whether Cornelia should be granted the sanat to practice. Three were of opinion that yes, she should be granted. Three were of opinion that she should not be granted. Now, because of this equal division, this matter had to be referred to the Chief Justice of Allahabad High Court, who obviously refused the particular thing and said that on considering it would be impairment of an Indian High Court to admit a woman to its role before England had given the lead. On this, her application was rejected. Still, she kept on making applications and finally, somewhere in the year 1920 and 1921, lady advocates in India were given right to practice. So, it is because of the hardships, the work, the insults Cornelia has faced. Today, every woman lawyer gets an enrollment. Even after enrollment, it was not an easy task for her. She had to fight for her each and every aspect. She was denied a library membership. On one occasion, it so happened that a men lawyer asked her to get up from the seat 
just because she was a woman and she has no right to practice. That was the insult which was given to Cornelia Sorabji. She worked for the court of wards for which she travelled extensively out of India. Throughout her life, she continuously worked for the empowerment of the woman rights. This clearly goes to show that it is only and only because of the hardship done by Cornelia Sorabji. Today, all things are in place. There is no more gender inequality. But unfortunately, Cornelia had to face it a lot. Team Hammurabi Tablet salutes her.